Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for singles. You're single, okay? This is for singles. This is not for couples. And this is for February, okay? Keep in mind the timing is fluid, but I'm intending this to be for February. So what do we have for Libra singles? Okay, you're single, okay? What do we have for Libra? Oh, discontent, not happy, okay? Thinking too much, overanalyzing. You may have your heart set on somebody who has rejected you, okay? You know, if you're single and you're holding on to a rejection, then we have a problem here. All right, you gotta you you need to stop focusing on a loss. You probably have somebody else that wants you to give them a chance, but you're probably not seeing it because you're closed off to the opportunity. Open yourself up. Don't keep focusing on a loss. Now, there's a higher power involved here. Everything happens for a reason. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus. You know, you may. You may be dealing with a toy, Taurus and you may you may be very committed to this person and this person may not be focusing on you. Um, everything does happen for a reason. The Hierophant is um, a teacher. People come into your life to teach you lessons, um, to teach you things about yourself, to bring you to or through a spiritual awakening. Okay? They will use people to cause you to wake up. Anyhow, this is also a card of commitment. It's a card of marriage. Um, when you see the Herald font, you have to believe in yourself. Okay, maybe you need to seek uh, some guidance. Maybe you need to speak to somebody that is spiritual and get advice from them. I'm talking about love here. Let's see, what do we have? Mm. The Wheel of Fortune reverse is a horrendous loss. It is. Okay, going backwards, clinging to the past. Some of you are clinging to a, per, a past commitment. It's very clear, very clear. It's like you may, you may believe that this person is the one, but this person came into your life to teach you something about your spirituality, to put you through some sort of awakening, and you keep, you, you're reluctant to close that cycle. You have to let this cycle end. The Wheel of Fortune is, you know, the past mistakes that are, that are still haunting you. You need to learn from these mistakes, okay? Um, this is something that is not working out. And is you, you're having setbacks and finding a new commitment because you're still focused on something from the past. I can't make this up, okay? If you want to have a successful relationship, you have to let go of the past, There's another woman, okay? If you are the Libra woman that is watching this, the person that you are hung up on has another woman. You need to you need to find your strength and your willpower and your confidence to hold your head up high and turn your back on this person. For some of you yeah, some of you may be trying to force a connection. I feel as though you are very, very attractive. Especially, I mean, I'm not saying, this is for the females right now. For you females that are watching this, you are very attractive. You have a lot to offer. People are very drawn to you. But you are missing an opportunity because you are focused on somebody else. If you are the male watching this, you have a very attractive person here that is in your vicinity. This person is um, a very, this person is athletic, this person is outgoing, this person is... Um, 
a force to be reckoned with. This person is very adventurous. Adventurous. This person is very passionate. If you are the masculine, but you need to stop focusing on somebody from the past. Both of you, female or male, you have somebody waiting. There's somebody that is very, um, this person is spiritual as well. This person is spiritual. This person is, uh, looking for a commitment. This person is very, very passionate for both of you and they want, you should be giving them a chance. You should have your focus on that person, not the person that has rejected you. Oh God, with the, with the judgment reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed, we have somebody here that is just refusing. They are refusing to see, not listening, not answering the higher call. I can't make this up. Needing advice, but not listening to any advice. Feeling guilty, feeling guilty for something that you shouldn't be feeling guilty for. If it didn't work out, there was a reason, there was a purpose. But somebody is, is and this is a card of karma, and this is a card of karma. Okay, they're both reversed. It's like things are going, there's a lot of bad luck, and there's a lack of success because somebody is refusing to let a cycle end that has already ended. So you guys are stuck. You're stuck because of this. I will not listen. We have a know-it-all. The Queen of Wands is a know-it-all. So you could take be taking on this energy. Or you could be dealing with somebody that is a know-it-all. That, you know, I know it all. I already know the, I know it all. No, you don't. You could be dealing with a know-it-all. Okay. This know-it-all could be holding on to you. Anyway. This is, this is definitely going backwards. Somebody that is, is totally unaware, refusing to see, refusing to listen to any advice from anybody. Therefore, their, their whole, this is, a, this is, a, this is really overanalyzing discontent. It's, if there's no, uh, it's like you're missing an opportunity for passion. You're, you're missing an opportunity for growth. You're missing an opportunity to live again because you're just refusing to listen. So there is another opportunity that is being missed. Somebody's missing an opportunity here because they keep thinking about the past. They're clinging to the past. I'm telling you what, it's very evident here that somebody is refusing. They're refusing to move on from something. You have to, it's time to move on from that bad choice. It's time to move on from that commitment that is no more. It's time to get unstuck. Let the wheels of change spin. Definitely clinging to the past. The six of cups reversed. Maybe you need to move. Nothing stays the same. It's time to accept that nothing nothing stays the same. You can't go back to the past. The past is dead. And it's like somebody is bringing themselves bad luck because they're they're resisting change, okay? So Libra, it's like they have something for you, but you are refusing to listen. Obsessed. We have the queen of denial here. It's not working out. Stop putting in effort to force a connection that isn't meant to be. So if you singles are looking for a commitment and you're looking for love, you have to completely let go of the past. And that means completely. And perhaps there's bad luck because of past life trauma. I don't know. Past life karma. Whatever there is. Perhaps we, I mean... Perhaps somebody, I mean, the Queen of Wands is typically the other woman, somebody who involves themselves in third party situations because she thinks that she's better. She thinks that she's so beautiful. You know, she's got a lot of confidence. She's overly confident sometimes. Okay. She's somebody who, uh, I can get, do whatever I want because I'm so perfect. I'm beautiful. She uses her body as a, as the ticket. But it doesn't last, okay? It doesn't work out, 
Um, you may be hoping that something, the, the third party isn't going to work out. You could be hoping that, but that's not the case. That's not going to happen. Okay. This is, this is some sort of illusion. It is. Um, oh my God. Damn. You just don't know your value. Do you? We got somebody here that doesn't know their value. Perhaps they were neglected when they were a child. So they choose partners who will neglect them because that's all they ever know. Refusing to deliver the pain, holding on to the pain, refusing, you know, new blessings in your life because you just don't want to struggle through the pain of release. Real release. Deliverance. So, if you are the masculine watching this, I feel as though you are probably dealing with a feminine that doesn't know her value. She could be a cheater. She could be a whore. If you are the masculine watching this, okay? She definitely could be a whore. She's She involves herself in third-party situations because she, she seriously has no morals, okay? She doesn't have any morals. She needs constant attention. She's very needy. She's not going to put in a lot of effort. All she wants is attention, Okay, um, there's a run of bad luck here. Perhaps this is past life karma. You could get yourself involved with a, a feminine that is, um, she really doesn't have anything to value, a value to add. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. She doesn't have anything of value to add. She's just um, sleazy. Okay, if you're the masculine, I'm sorry. You've got a woman here who... Uh, doesn't know her value and she she really doesn't know her value she doesn't she is not something that will put in a lot of effort she she may be in love with somebody else and she's just looking for sex i'm just saying and maybe that's what you're looking for so some of you may be looking for that kind of woman that's fine we definitely have a woman here that doesn't know her value there's no doubt about it she's she's uh undervalued and disrespected because she doesn't know her value okay nobody really puts in effort because she doesn't put in effort and perhaps this is a karmic cycle that needs to end but it's not going it is a karmic cycle that needs to end but it's not going to end until somebody starts listening and they start believing and they start you know uh taking advice that they are refusing to take so anyway, I think that we have somebody here that is committed to somebody from their past and there's no growth there. It's not going to lead them anywhere and they're going to continue to suffer in pain until they deliver this pain and move on. There's a new cycle that needs to start, but we have somebody here that will not let go of the past. So, you know, for as far as February goes, I feel like we have a missed opportunity or a lost opportunity or a period of stagnation still because we have somebody here that is needing to find their self-value and find their self-worth and stop putting in effort into a third-party situation that where their partner is with somebody else and they are not coming back. I'm sorry. So Libra, Libra, as far as love goes for February, I see you guys uh, stuck, um, stuck on a horrendous loss. There's negative, repetitive behavior here. Somebody needs to start listening and they need to start you know, believing in whatever is meant to happen, happens. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Let it go. So, for Libra singles, you need to start listening maybe you need to seek professional advice whatever needs to happen is you is is you need to learn to love yourself 
love yourself enough to not accept third party situations. Don't go back to somebody who doesn't value you, that doesn't see your worth. There is no success there. So is there new love coming in February? I think there's a missed opportunity because somebody is dealing with a third party situation that they are refusing to let go of. There's no reward in the third party situation. This is very unfortunate. It is. There's no reconciliation. Judgment in the Six of Cups reversed. There's no reconciliation. Whoever you are dealing with has another person. Accept it, refusing to accept, and move on. And that is what I have. I wish you the best. Good luck.